Located at the base of the west side of Sand Hollow Reservoir, the new Sand Hollow groundwater treatment plant has been operational since the middle of May. Envisioned for the past three to four years, this plant was designed to treat groundwater from several area wells. It's the newest addition to the Washington County Water Conservancy District and will provide treated water to Washington City and St. George municipalities. Unlike Quail Creek Water Treatment Plant, which treats surface water, this plant treats water from underground wells or the aquifer. The water comes in these pipes behind us, these gray pipes, these light gray pipes. And then our target is we're treating some dissolved metals in the water, manganese and arsenic. Very, very low concentrations, but our, the concentrations that still are such that when the water is chlorinated, it can come out as, a, as an aesthetic visual thing and also to tr treat to meet drinking water standards. Uh, behind me, we have these large gray uh, columns. These are sand filters, so if we have even small concentrations of sand coming from our wells, this pulls that sand out, filters that before it goes into the rest of the treatment system. Ferric chloride and chlorine are mixed in to help remove the arsenic and manganese. The pressurized system allows the separation of liquids and solids, allowing the metals to be taken out. This is a pressurized cell, so the water is under pressure and it goes into these individual cells. Each one of them is divided and it has a layer of anthracite coal, small little pieces of coal about the size of rice and under that is sand, nice clear silica sand, uh, smaller than BBs, just barely. And that water filters down through there and then those dissolved materials are now solid and they accumulate in those filters. A visual port allows operators to see the system work during the backwashing process. So what we're seeing here is a, a visual port and we can see where the ferric chloride is added and during a backwash the water the solids are flushed out of these treatment cells and come through this pipeline and we can visually see those being flushed out of the out of the water. What makes this system unique and even cost effective is that they make their own chlorine bleach solution. And we do that by taking salt, high quality salt that is produced and we get that unloaded in a big semi truck. We add that to water and we make a brine solution and then it goes through these cells Electricity runs through those cells, and that's like a rectifier, almost like a welder. And that electricity drives off hydrogen gas. You can see that hydrogen gas bubbling up through there. And then what's left is bleach. And then we use that bleach, it goes in this large tank, and we use that bleach to ahead of the, at the start of the treatment system, and then we add a little bit at the end to make sure we have a chlorine residual that's appropriate for delivering to our cities. Cram said this system is much safer than using chlorine gas and is expected to pay for itself in about four years. This plant currently has the capacity of treating three million gallons of water per day. And also right behind us you can see this is the area where we have the future capacity where if we have the demand for it in the future we'll bring in another one of those big vessels with its associated pipes and meters and valves and it will double the capacity of this system from 3 million gallons per day to 6 million gallons per day. Cram said so far they are very pleased with the quality of the finished water product. And then as this water goes through this system, the turbidity is almost non-existent. This plant is functioning very, very good and we're really pleased with its operation. Eventually, the captured solids are flushed out into these ponds or reclamation areas. And then when the sludge builds up to a couple of feet thick, we'll dry that out and uh, remove it with a, a loader and haul it off to the landfill. And it's just a normal waste, no hazardous uh, designations or anything like that. But so what we're seeing out in there is some of the iron from the ferric chloride chemical that we add, and then also manganese and arsenic that accumulates, and then a lot of sand that blows in here as well. This plant also has the ability to pump water back into Sand Hollow Reservoir. At a cost of $11 million, this state-of-the-art facility is paid for mostly by impact fees. We look at the cost of our new facilities, and then we look at uh, what a new residence or a business, what their um, what it would cost them to their portion of um, bringing a water supply online. Water rates go up every year to meet the needs of the residents. Cram said because the Washington County Water Conservancy District is considered a not-for-profit organization, whatever it costs them is the cost passed on to consumers. So the water which we sell uh, 
to our communities is $1.44 per thousand gallons. So 1,000 gallons of water, we sell that to our communities, to Washington, to St. George, to Hurricane at $1.44. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson Community, Education News.